The Baga fish market used to be one of the busiest spots in the Lake Chad region. 80 trucks on average brought in the daily catch of fish from the lake. Not anymore. Only a few cartons of dried fish arrive the market now. Musa Madu comes here every day to earn enough to buy a meal for his family. The one successful fisherman largely depends on the goodwill of others after Boko Haram fighters overran his village four years ago. He's heard about plans by government and international partners to assist people like him, but he's not sure if he or his family will get any help this year. I'm getting older and the young ones can't go to fish because of fear of attacks by Boko Haram. With no work and no income, many of them have now joined the fighters. Something governments in the region want to stop. They say the recent spike in violence requires a look beyond providing aid. Something they want to address in a regional meeting in Nigeria. We need a holistic approach that looks at the short-term humanitarian needs, but also try to start supporting those medium and longer terms, early recovery and development needs that are so critical um, to find the solution to this crisis. The Lake Chad region is one of the poorest in the world, despite its vast agriculture and water resources. Attacks by Boko Haram have made the situation worse. Thousands are unemployed in a region already struggling with poverty and lack of jobs. This company produces solar panels and equipment. It's one of 11 factories being set up by government in Borno State, where Boko Haram started. The government invested millions of dollars in the hope of creating jobs for unemployed youths, a group that is repeatedly targeted by Boko Haram for recruitment. It's investments like these donors want to promote across the region. They also want governments in the region to pay greater attention to education. Children and the classrooms are prime targets for Boko Haram kidnappers, gunmen, and suicide bombers. Over 3,000 classrooms have been fixed back out of the 5,000 which I have said. Uh, the rebuilding effort is uh, there and uh, we follow immediately where and when the military uh, take over from the insurgents and especially when people uh, go back to their various communities. Our primary attention go to the school. 1,400 schools in Borno State were targeted and destroyed by the fighters. Hundreds have since been repaired. But jobless fishermen and women as well as other small businesses hope for a lasting peace that will guarantee a return home to reorganize their lives. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Maiduguri, Northeast Nigeria.